Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, fit and skin a cloth for a metahuman. And you have been requ requesting this uh, in, in the comments and I'm going to cover this tutorial. So the first thing that we need to do for fitting a cloth to a metahuman is if we have an avatar, it's better or it's um, ideal to export the avatar first. So I'm going to export the avatar and I'm calling it avatar, which I already have it. And by default, the scale is on millimeter. We need centimeter and we change the scale to centimeter and export the avatar. Oh, actually, I export the avatar and uh, cloth together i just need the avatar so remember when you are exporting the avatar uncheck these um, other options so we just exporting the avatar okay now in maya this is the uh, character that i have been working in the previous tutorial and now i want to have a cloth for it so I'm going to hide this uh, custom meshes that I made. This is actually the body. I don't need it. And the, the, the mesh that I need is actually combined mesh. And I'm to re going to reveal the combined mesh. Here it is. And I'm going to unhide joints. And for joints, I'm going to hide the head joints and this is the root DRV joints, is the joint that we are going to uh, work with. And now I'm going to import the avatar. And here it is, Greenwich and avatar. And the avatar is on uh, YUP. We have to change it 90 degree. And now we are going Let's actually uh, add, I'm going to hide the lighting. We don't need lighting. And I'm going to add a material that it's recognizable easily. Our avatar is um, red. So we are going to use these joints to match the metahuman body to avatar. And we are not going to save the scene. We are just going to use the joints for matching purpose. Ah, before that, we need to export this character uh, to um, Marvelous Designer. And I'm going to have a duplicate of it. And unparented, it is very important to have the character out of the group and now unlock it, unlock everything, and let's give it minus 90. And I'm going to export it. And I'm going to call it image, image pose, okay? Now, we don't need it anymore. And I'm going to confirm the body of image or metahuman to the body of avatar. And it's okay to move the joints because we don't need uh, the joints when we are not going to save it. So I'm going to do it quickly and and one thing that you should know it is very easy to do it in maya and you don't need to do it in marvelous designer using fitting tool or anything because it's cumbersome and not practical and it is not working you don't want to distort your cloth. So it's okay for now. I'm going to actually uh, another duplicate. 
unhide it and I don't need this anymore hiding this and now I can actually let's hide the joints I can conform the body more with manipulating the vertices and we need to be on symmetry mode and I'm going to actually object X is okay we can go to the topology for for to to be exact but we don't need to be picky about it and I'm going to confirm it even more oops yep and when we are on uh, component mode this is a bug that sometimes yeah, there's a clinch so don't be on component mode just be on object or world mode okay so I'm I, uh, what I want to do to the best result I want to actually hide the metahuman body inside the um, inside the avatar body so to avoid any penetration and you don't need to be picky you don't need you just push the geometries in so you can hide it and i'm doing to uh, trying to do it quick quickly and remember I am on symmetry mode and whatever I do on one side is duplicated on I mean it's applied on the other side and as you can see symmetry here is is broken because the character is not actually 100% symmetrical it's okay we can go to topology mode and select them center where this center edge and now it's working again and so you don't need to have worry about the head because the head is not counter uh, interacting with cloth And you need to know some basic use of Maya. For example, the soft selection tool, the shortcut is B for uh, changing the radius and choosing the soft selection tool. And I'm not going to cover the basic, very basic Maya things and you need to already know them so in this area I mean because if you look at the character actually it doesn't matter because the cloth is not going to be on that area anyway anyway I'm going to uh, like to make sure that everything is fine I'm just making it correct so the character is ready and I'm going to export it and call it modified oops I forgot to to uh, actually unlock unlock selected I forgot to have it on Y up export selection modified good So I made a mistake and my mistake was uh, exporting these guys as FBX. I thought I am exporting them as OBJ and it was FBX. So you need to export them as OBJ, not FBX. So I'm exporting them again. And uh, this is the image one, 
export selection and this time make sure that we are on OBJ export my uh, image post and this is the modified one export selection and modified so in marvelous designer i'm going to import the modified first because it is go it is confirmed to uh, avatar body modified and here it is and now i'm going to import the image pose and instead of um, selecting avatar in object type, I am I'm going to select more target and OK. And I'm waiting. Um, simulation is triggered and it is slowly. Um, OK, here is the problem because some of the cloth I'm actually going to stop it. I believe some of the clothes are frozen and you need to be careful it looks like right now I can see some some problem on the hand but overall it's good but if you import um, morph target and you see some of the clothes are frozen or pinned you need to consider them and this was the thing that i was concerned about actually it's not a problem and as you can see right now we have the cloth confirmed to the metahuman body so i'm going to run simulation once more to uh make sure that cloth is fitting um correctly and one thing that I need to add is that if your cloth is um, tighter or um, okay, is tighter or looser than the metahuman, it's not fitted for the metahuman body, you should consider that and you should fix it first. Uh, at least if it is um, it is going to be tighter um, I mean loser first change the parameter here to make it fit if it is dramatically uh, going to change um, sometimes you need to changes beforehand before importing the metahuman body anyway so uh, now I'm going to export the cloth but let's let's first save this file and let's do something very important before exporting the cloth because we want to export the textures too right we need to consider the textures too so i'm going to uv editor and as you can see um the textures are kind of small for this uv and I'm going to first fit to zero to one. And what I'm going to do is actually fit these textures. I mean, to be to be in this to in this square space. All right, because I'm going to bake the UVs and. I don't want to lose the space because it means I'm going to lose resolution. So it's actual, it is one, let me see what is it. It is um, related to the bottoms, I believe, yeah. Let's have this guy here. Actually, let's have a, all of them because overall generally you don't want overlap but because these guys only take the metalness and uh, they are they are not taking diffuse it's okay if to have them as overlap 
okay we are going to fit these guys and I'm going to repeat again uh, fit zero to fit all UVs to zero one and as you can see we are using this space a little bit more efficient and we can continue doing that we can just make fit them tighter and make this space you can use this space a little more bit more efficient efficient um, but you don't need to be if it is for cinematic you can use um, large texture and you don't need to be worried about that but if it is for games you need to be careful you need to you, you don't want to lose the space anyway now it's time to export the uh, textures so I'm going from here from this menu it's UV snapshot, the other one, this one that says baked texture. And it asks me, I'm going to actually select 8K because um, we don't need to be worried about the size. But if you are using it for games, so obviously you want lower resolution. And and let's make a folder actually i have a folder for it and it is cluttered maybe i need to uh, call it um jacket yeah and jacket and actually another folder for the texture pictures Okay, now it says what texture I want to bake. I want diffuse, I want metalness, I want normal map, I want roughness, but I don't want op opacity because we don't and you don't have anything opaque here. Uh, I mean, semi transparent, I mean, everything is opaque here. We don't have any transparency here. So, export it. And one thing do you need to consider is that you don't want to very high resolution for the cloth because you're gonna have problem if you choose very high resolution. Don't don't make the particle distance very very uh, low five is the lowest that you can go and okay now we can export the cloth export obj and going to jacket and call it jacket and this time i don't want the avatar and here is a very important thing that you need to check unified UV coordinates. Okay. And make sure you are in centimeter. Yes, centimeter. And export it.